getting started with Quarkus is not too hard. We'll start bootstrapping the project so we have a bunch of default configurations out of the box. There is pretty much two ways to do this and the first one is on the screen right now. You can go to code.quarkus.io and here you can just click and configure the project as you'd like. So you can insert your group ID, your artifact ID and select the build tool you'd like to use. And then here you can simply pick your extensions. So say I would want to be using Elasticsearch. I can either go ahead and type Elasticsearch in the box here and it's just showing me the matches in the search results. Or I can scroll down to Elasticsearch myself. Let's see where it is. Here we have it and I can select it and I can say generate my application. It's really that easy. But there's a bunch of options here and it might be a bit too much for now. So I'd rather show you how to do it using the terminal and running a bunch of commands to get the Hello World application we want to make going. Navigate to the folder where you'd like to build your project in. I'm in my development folder, which is fine. And here I'm going to type this Maven command and I'm going to say grab the Quarkus Maven plugin. And go ahead and create. I would also like to set the group ID, the artifact ID and the class name. So here I go. D project group ID. And a class name. Oh. Having issues typing today. And I'm going to set the part of my first endpoint. Hello. There we go. And that's it, you've now made your first Quarkus project.